Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Um, this is a video which I'm going to make and answer question number four from the June 2009 um, the IGCSE Cambridge Paper 4 Extended Syllabus. Um, this question is about this is question number four, which is about um, trigonometry and bearings. So here we've told we've told that the diagram shows three straight horizontal roads in a town connecting points P, A, and B. We're told that P, B is equal to 250 meters, angle A, P, B is 23 degrees, and B, A, P is 126 degrees. Calculate the length of the road A, B. So we need to calculate the length of the road on this side here, which is A, B. I'm just call it X. I'll mark it as X. Now here we have a triangle which is not a right angle triangle. Okay, so we cannot use the uh, you know trigonometry of right angles like um, so cat or sine is opposite over uh, hypotenuse and so on. Here we have to use um, some of the trigonometry for non right angle triangles, and here we can see we have a pair of opposites. We have a pair of opposites, which are. The, the length and the side 250 uh, sorry the, the angle 126 and the side 250 and we have another pair of opposites of which there's only one thing that we don't know so this is a classic um, example of using the sine rule okay so the sine rule is basically in any triangle whether it's right angled or not the sine of an angle divided by the ratio um, sorry, the ratio of the sine of the angle and the side opposite the angle will give you the same ratio for any of the three pairs of sides and angles. So, for example, if I divide x with sine 23, it will give me the same exact value as 250 divided by the sine of 126. Okay, so that's what we know. This is, this is the sine rule. So I can say the sine that I can say x divided by the sine of 23 will be the same value as, so our value that we're trying to find x over the sine of 23 well, is going to give me exactly the same value as 250 divided by the sine of 126. So the length divided by the sine of the angle that's opposite that, that length. So th therefore I can say x is equal to 250 times the sine of 23 over the sine of 126 degrees and I just take my calculator make sure that I'm in a degree mode which I am and I just set this up 250 times the sine of 23 divided by the sine of 126 and that gives me 120.7425 120.7425 continues on like that. Now this is a length. Now length should be given to the uh, to three significant figures unless otherwise stated. So this is going to be written as 121 meters. Okay, so if it's a length, you should round to three significant figures as is mentioned in the front of the paper. Non-exact values. Um, should be rounded to three significant figures um, and then it mentions some exceptions like angles okay so now that's the answer for part a now part b is about three figure bearings and i'm guessing i'm guessing that the student who asked me this question is asking me this question because of part b um, because um, there are many students who don't who don't understand how to deal with uh, three figure bearings so I'm going to explain this kind of in a bit more detail than these, the time for these three marks actually require, of course. So, you know, I'm going to just make sure that it's explained properly. So it says the bearing of A from P is 303 degrees. So the bearing of A from P, okay, let me just get rid of some of these lines so that I can explain better. The bearing of A from P, okay, so... If it says the bearing of A from P is 303, what it means is that if you 
are at P because it's A from P. So you're at P, okay? A from P, okay? So you're here at P. And when you want to make find the bearing, you have to, first of all, start from the north line. Now, the north line is really drawn for us. So the bearing of A from P, we start from P, we face north, and we turn in the clockwise direction. So bearings are always measured from the north line in the clockwise direction. So from here, we start going clockwise until we face A, the bearing of A from P. So this angle here is 303 degrees. Okay, the bearing of A from P is 303 degrees. And then it says, find the bearing of B from P. The bearing of B from P, well, the bearing of B from P, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start from the same place, but we're not going to go all the way around here. We have to go up to P, so I'll just do it in a different color. This is the bearing of B from P. You can see that this is the bearing of B from P. We start from P, face north, clockwise, <clears throat> until you reach the line going to B. So we can see that the angle that we want is like 303 minus this angle over here. If we take away 23 from 303, we've got the bearing that we want. So the bearing of B from P is going to be given by 303 minus 23. Okay, as we can see, 303 minus 23, which gives us 280. Okay, so that's the answer to B part one. Then it says the bearing of A from B. A from B, that's the final question. The bearing of A from B. So we got to find this angle over here. Okay, this is the angle we have to find, the bearing of A from B. Okay, so to find this angle, uh, what we can do is we need to find, basically, there's different ways of doing this, actually, uh, to be honest with you, but the easiest way, I think, is to find this angle here first, okay, which I can find using the fact that this is a north line and this is a north line. Okay, so these angles here are called interior angles. This angle and this angle is interior. Okay, that means they add up to 180. Because you've got parallel lines and angles, they make like a U shape. Okay, so these two angles add up to 180. So if I know what this angle is, which I can know, this is actually 360, take away 303, which is going to be 57. I know this angle is 57. So this angle is 180 minus 57 which is going to be 123 degrees. Okay, so this is 57, and this is 123. Okay, so this is 57 because if you go all the way around, to, from there to here, you've got 303. So 303 ta taken away from 360 is 57. <clears throat> and these two angles add up to 180. So 180 minus 57 is 123. Now, in total, these two angles add up to in total, these two angles add up to, you have 123 plus 126, which is going to give you 249. Okay, so these two angles up to 249. So this angle over here is going to be 360 minus 249. So 360 minus 249, that's going to give you 100 and, let's have a look, 11, I think. That's uh, 10 from 9 is 1, 1, 1, 111. So this is 111 degrees. So the angle that we're looking for is 180 minus 111. It's 180 minus this angle. That's the bearing of A from B, which they asked for, bearing of A from B. So we've got the angle over there, and we're done. Okay, so that's the angle that we need. <clears throat> 180 minus 111 which gives us, that's a 9, and that's a 6, 69 degrees. Okay, that's, yeah. Okay, so the bearing that we're looking for, okay, is 0, 6, 9 degrees. It should be written with three figures, okay, as it is here. Um, and, um, yeah, so it should be, if, there's a, if it's a number that's less than three figures, you put 0 or zeros in front of it, 
until it shows three figures, three figure bearings. That's how you should express your answer. Okay, so the last one, you've got to kind of find some angles around it first. You need to find this angle. Okay, so you, if you find this angle, 180 minus it will give us the angle that we need. To find this angle, we need to know the whole of this angle all the way around from there to there, which we can find. We know 126 is part of it. The other one is interior to this angle. So we know 303 is all the way around up to there. So this is 57. So this is 180 minus 57. And then 180 minus 57 plus 26, that gives you 249. 180 minus that is 111. And 180 minus 111 is 69. So the angle in the end of the bearing is 0, 069 degrees. So I hope that was clear. And um, that completes question number four. Thank you for watching. Now, other questions from this particular paper of June 2009, I'm going to include in a playlist over here from this paper four. I'm going to put in a playlist over here. Other questions that are to do with trigonometry, um, um, including three figure bearings, is going to put, be put in this playlist over here. Um, you can subscribe to my channel from this link, and <clears throat> I'll put a link up for another paper, maybe the paper two of this same year, in the top corner over here. Um, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.